You know, the march of collaborative robotics continues, and collaborative robots now are, are rolling out in all shapes and sizes for multiple manufacturing applications. I'm with Greg Beal, who's product manager for collaborative robots with Fanuc America Corporation. And Greg, we are standing in front of a CR7IAL. Tell me about it. This is our uh, small line of collaborative robots, the CR7IA series. It comes in three sizes. There's a four kilogram version, a seven kilogram version with a standard reach, and then a seven kilogram version with the long reach, which is what, what we're looking at here. All of these fall within the force and power limiting operation for collaborative robots as far as the safety standard is concerned. You'll notice that this robot is the same familiar green color as the larger collaborative robot that Fanuc has had out for a couple years but it has the same features and same functions as our collaborative robot line. Contact stop, if you touch the robot, if it bumps into you, it'll stop. Simple push of the button and the robot will continue. Even though the robots are green, on the inside, they're all yellow at heart. All of our collaborative robots come with the same software functions, same features, the same high intelligence that all of our yellow robot lines have. It's the same controller and the same programming, but in a green color, and a, uh, a human safe robot. You safe to work with people. Again, if it bumps into you, the robot stops. Simple push of the button, it continues on the way. All right, now we have classic uh, collaborative robotics. So I'm, I'm quite close to this unit. Now in an industrial application, of course, in this case, it's supposed to hand me a, a lanyard. So I can reach out, take that lanyard away from it. But let's assume that I were to reach in here and I, and I just awkwardly, uh, that exerted very little force on my hand. Yes. And it sensed that. So it is sensing my presence. Is it sensing my presence or is it sensing the force applied? It's by sensing the... the force of the contact. So the force and power limited robots have a safety rated sensor mounted in the base of the robot. And what it's doing is it's monitoring external forces. It feels when you touch the robot. These you can actually push and move them out of the way as well. And once you restart the program, it'll return to the point of contact and continue on with the process. But the robot is always feeling everything around it, and when it comes into contact with you, it stops. It's interesting, and yet, it's not locked rigidly, so in a situation like this, it will actually yield a little bit. Yes. All right, so it's not even really a bump hazard in a situation like that, if it can move out of the way. Right, it's for when the operator is working with the robot, if the robot bumps into the operator, the operator can step out of the way, restart the robot, the robot will continue on with its process, and then the operator can go back to doing uh, what the operator was doing prior to the bump. Hey Greg, what industries do you expect that this model would be uh, ideal for? We're seeing a lot of this in material handling and machine loading and unloading sort of industries. Multiple applications for collaborative robotics for Fanuc, says Greg Buell.